Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, the goal is for you personally to be able to calculate the pH of a strong acid from a given concentration of that acid. So this lesson is all about the pH. Prior to us calculating the pH, let's set some ground rules here. Everything is about the hydrogen ion concentration. A substance is called an acid if it donates hydrogen ions into solution. Therefore, it would be an acid. So HCl is dissolved in water, and when that happens, it dissociates. That's a good way of saying it does that. It splits, and when it splits, it forms an ion, an H plus ion. Acids are substances that produce H plus ions into solution. So when we look at a pH, the strength of an acid is going to be determined by the quantity of H plus ions in solution. And for substances that donate just one H plus when they dissociate, they're called monoprotic. Now for the sake of today's lesson, we're going to assume dissociation happens completely and that we're going to assume that all the acids we're discussing are strong acids. Also consider, you can have polyprotic acids. A polyprotic acid is an acid that donates multiple H pluses. The one I give you here as an example is H2SO4. It's going to donate two H plus ions when it dissociates. Just a little FYI though, check this out over here. This is the molarity of H2SO4. Let's just call it 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, which is 0 0.001 moles per liter of H2SO4. All right, that's one the same scientific notation and just a regular expression of it. When it dissociates though, this is really important for you, the H plus concentration of the ion goes from 1 times 10 to the negative third to 2. It doubles. The ion concentration is double in this example because you have two H's that are dissociating. All right, so that's huge. 1 H2SO4 will produce two ions of H plus Therefore, I'm doubling the ion concentration. Remember, we're talking today about pH, and pH is all about the concentration of the ion. It's not necessarily as much the concentration of the H2SO4. You want to be reminded, be reminded that it's of the H plus ion. All right, dudes, the formula for pH is the negative log of the H plus ion. Also, we can express it as the hydronium ion which is the H3O positive ion. So we're going to use these interchangeably. In a sense, they mean the same thing. I don't want to go into a lesson on the H3O plus ion, but basically we're talking about the same exact things here. So we're looking at the negative log of that hydronium ion concentration. Know your calculator. Calculator is huge in how you use it today. This is the button. Experiment with that right now. This is not a lesson on how to use your calculator, but you, know you need to know how to use that button. Okay, you're also going to need to know how to use this button right down here, the EXP button, because that's how you're going to get to that number right there. You need to use the EXP button. All right, dudes, here we go. Let's rock. The acids generally range in pH from 0 to 7. A neutral solution will have a pH around 7-ish, and a base solution from 7-ish up to 14. So these are the range of what's considered an acid, a base, or a neutral solution. Let's rock and roll here. Here's the first question coming at you. We're going to use our formula, so let's plug it out there. The pH is the negative log of the H plus concentration. Let's go to the problem now. What is the pH? So we're looking for the pH of a solution if the H plus ion concentration, that is after dissociation, is 1 times 10 to the negative 3. Here is the deal, dudes. You're going to have to plug in that number into here. All right, so you're going to be using your calculators now to plug the concentration of the H plus ion into here. These brackets that you see here, dudes, these guys, these things mean concentration, specifically molarity, because that's what we're doing in this problem. We're going to plug the number in, and what you're going to find when you take the negative log of that number is that the pH is 3. Now, let's just say if you ended up with a concentrate or the pH of negative 3, just know that you need to make that positive, okay? Not all calculators will allow you to use the negative log. That's okay. Just at the end, go back and correct it because there is no negative pH. One little fine uh, little note here that's really cool, a little uh, fun fact you maybe want to call it. If the number is 1, if that number is just 1 and not 1 point something, I want you to know this. The pH is always equal to the exponent value, but positive. 
So the pH is 3. That means it was 1 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter of concentration of the H plus ion. Let's try the next one. Now, if you're really starting to groove, the thing I'm going to recommend is you press and pause. That's right. You press pause right now. You try to solve the problem. You know I'm coming back with the answer because here it goes right now. We're looking at this problem. We know it's the negative log of the H plus ion. Remember I said a second ago, whenever it's a 1, little hint, you kind of know what the pH is going to be. So take a guess what the pH is going to be. I plug my concentration in there, and voila, I got myself a pH of 5. That's right, dudes. Whenever my first number here is 1, a little fun fact is that my exponent will equal a positive value in pH. And that should be a little thing you need to tuck into your brain somewhere. Your pH down here is always, always, always going to be in the ballpark of that value. Always will be in the ballpark of that value. If I look at this problem here, now I'm changing it. I'm giving you 1.4, but I'm guaranteeing you something. For every single pH problem, your pH is going to be in that range of the negative 5. Let's prove it, dudes. Set it up. Do your substitution. Find the log of that. Change it to a positive. If it's negative, you're going to find your pH is in the ballpark of that negative exponent right there. That's right. It's 4.85. All right, dudes. What I'm going to ask you to do is that if you're getting this, you want to go on to some of the slides coming up. You definitely want to hit on some of the slides coming up because I do throw some difficult things at you. I want you to be, you know, skilled on. All right, dudes. So now I took away the H plus ion concentration, and I'm just giving you right now a legit solution. This is a hydrochloric acid solution and the molarity of the solution is 1.5 times 10 to negative fourth. Right off the bat you're saying to yourself the ions concentration because it is monoprotic. I have one H that will dissociate. Key here. Now that I'm giving you uh, actual compounds you need to find out whether or not that acid is monoprotic or polyprotic. Well the pH regardless should be in that between a 3 to 4 range. Should be in the ballpark of 4. Let's plug and chug, dudes. When you plug the number in, chug the answer out, you find it is in the ballpark of that negative exponent, 3.82. Now that was cool because it was a monoprotic acid. A monoprotic meaning one hydrogen is given off when it dissociates. All right, dudes. Check it out. See if you can see the curveball that I'm throwing at you in this problem. If so, press pause. Just press pause and do it on your own because here I come. All right, dudes, you're hitting a home run right now. You are knocking the ball out of the baseball stadium if you said and recognized that this was a polyprotic acid. And I gave you the solution of the H2SO4. I did not give you the, so, the concentration of the ion. This is all about the hydrogen ion in solution. You double it because when H2SO dissociates, we're going to produce two hydrogen ions. So 2 times 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth is going to give me a 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. That is the number I'm finding the negative log of. And when I do so, dudes, you find out, yeah, you're back in that ballpark again. You're back in the ballpark of negative 4. You've got a pH of 3.5. Now, if you had a pH of 2.5, I'd be a little concerned because we still want to be within the range of that number right there. Good job, dudes, if you snag that one. All right, next one. I'm throwing another curveball at you. Your job is to figure it out, press pause, solve the problem on your own. All right, dudes, here's what we got going on. I start out with the formula. I make my substitution, but I want you to recognize in this polyprotic acid, I have a 3 right there, so therefore I'm going to multiply the concentration of the acid because I have three times that concentration of the ions floating around in solution. And it's those active ions that's going to cause my solution to be more acidic. And that's what we're seeing here because when we plug the numbers in, it was less than last time. The last slide, I want to say it was around 3.5 with now three ions floating around at that concentration. I got a 3.35. Once again, a little just a reality check. Is it good? Is it close to my negative 4? It is. It's close to that number. I'm comfortable with that pH, dudes. So notice the pH is close to the exponent. Always just a good reality check for you guys to look at. All right, dudes. That's the lesson on pH. I hope it was helpful. I hope you hit some home runs, and you're going to rock the next test you got coming up. All right, dudes. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Peace.